Go. God bless America. Mike Marini, your favorite presidential hopeful for the 2024 race. Now, if you're reading the tags here, I'm talking about the Chinese spy balloon as well as classified documents. Sorry, I've been sick the last month, so I didn't get the opportunity to talk about these things. We do have the State of the Union address coming up. Um, I really think the president should just get up there and say, things are screwed up and I'm trying to fix it. I would respect that because it would be honest. Instead, he's gonna get up there and try and justify his losses uh, and overinflate his few wins. But I digress. Uh, let me talk to you first about the classified documents because I've been itching to talk about this, but I've been so sick I couldn't talk, couldn't even get in front of video uh, because I was so stuffed up and coughing all the time that I just wouldn't have been able to get through it. So rewind a little bit. Not that many years ago when I was in Iraq, I was handling classified material on a regular basis. I actually had the authority to classify documents because as a psychological operations specialist or psyoper, which is my background, full disclosure, um, you know, I found that uh, basically if I was going to draw a picture or write a little story or just do any type of creative stuff on a blank sheet of paper that was going to turn into a potential PSYOP product, automatically that's classified because you don't want that falling into the enemy hands so that they disrupt all my hard work and research and immediately destroy my product that's going to take me like three months to get approved and actually out into the field. Um, so I had a little rubber stamp that doo -doo, I would stamp it secret. I had little stickers to put on any multimedia uh, devices that I needed to use, such as thumb drives, external drives, laptops, cameras, and what have you. Um, you know, this was around the time uh, Bradley Manning was kind of doing his thing too, um, and that mm, affected me directly and made my life so much harder. So I really don't like Bradley Manning because he hurt me personally. Uh, but I digress. Um, so essentially, whenever you have something that's classified, for me it was secret. Uh, I did not deal with top secret documents, but you are responsible for safeguarding it. So for me, that meant that even, you know, I had a blank sheet of white paper that I started drawing on, all right, that was now secret. So I would put it into a, a little safe that I had. Uh, you know, if I was taking something on the internet, or not on the internet, on my uh, my zipper net that I had, which is the secure internet, I was doing something on there, I could, I could leave it there because that's secure, but that computer had to stay locked up and secure. That either had to be with someone who had a weapon on them, like me, or it had to be locked somewhere where there was armed guards nearby, i.e. like an operations center. Um, and even then, everyone going in there had a security clearance. Now to find out that, and this applies to President Trump as well, uh, former President Trump, as well as it does Biden, as well as it does to Barack Obama, Dick Cheney, George W. Bush, George H. W. Bush, it applies to every president. You have the absolute obligation to ensure that any classified material that comes into your hands is handled correctly. Now, for the military, there are little classes on what to do with it, how to destroy it, how to declassify it, what have you. To find out that, you know, and there's varying, you know, a difference between how Fox News reports Donald Trump and his stuff uh, at Mar a Largo versus how CNN reports the same story. Now, don't care. Maybe he needed to have that. Maybe he didn't. He, as president, he was the ultimate authority in declassifying things. But if you didn't actually declassify it, once you're no longer president, you no longer have that authority. Anyway, at least that was in a safe with hopefully Secret Service agents nearby. When it comes to Biden, 
uh, it was in a garage with maybe Secret Service agents nearby. Uh, a garage is not as secure as a safe. Uh, in either case, you know, someone put it to me that, hey, maybe, um, you know, maybe he had an aide packed away for him and they didn't know it was secure. Doesn't matter. All right, anyone handling classified information should have at least a 15 minute video that they watch that is atrociously bad, but it gets the point across of how to handle classified material and stuffing it into a box and sending it off to God knows where with no chain of custody is the absolute wrong thing to do. I, I, and I'm, uh, I'm working on the realm of just secret, just regular secret. They're talking about top secret at a presidential level and it was just in a cardboard box behind a car in a garage. That is bad. That is like real bad. Now, hopefully no one actually accessed this, in which case I'm a little more forgiving. But this, we're starting to see a systemic problem with our upper leadership. If we have Donald Trump, former president, having classified documents at his private residence in a safe, okay, fine. Still strikes me as odd, and it probably shouldn't happen. Finding out that a vice president has documents um, in his private residence in a garage. Again, this is bad. But now we think back a few years, Hillary Clinton had classified documents like everywhere and her own private server processing classified information on a, on a network that wasn't secure at all. And it was assessed that our foreign adversaries absolutely did access this information. This is a systemic problem. This is not like a one-off. It's not just Joe Biden. It's not Donald Trump. It's not just Hillary Clinton. This shows me that our top tier leadership has a problem with classified documents and we can't trust them with classified documents. At least I know what I'm doing. I have never lost a classified document and I don't have any in my home because I knew to turn them over to the next team or drop them into a burn barrel and destroy them. So I find it irritating, especially when people are saying, well, it's not that bad, it's bad. And just because it's your team, your political party member, uh, doesn't negate the fact that it's, it's grossly irresponsible and shows quite frankly, incompetence. And yes, I am still talking about Trump as well as Biden on this. They did a bad. Now, onto the Chinese spy balloon, and this is more directed at President Biden. The only reason we know that a Chinese spy balloon was floating over our country and our nuclear missile silos and our strategic assets as well as our military bases and a whole bunch of other really important things is because a citizen saw it in the air and photographed it. Now, you might be thinking, but Mike, they didn't know it was there. It was just floating over. Well, if you trust the government, I want you to think about something. We have entire military units that use satellites, sonar, and radar to track everything that is in the ocean and air over the ocean, as well as in the air over the United States, 24 seven, seven days a week. Now that's not just our military, our air traffic controllers have radars that are looking at what's in the sky. And something at 60,000 feet is really not that high up. You think about it, there was someone standing on the ground that got a photo of this thing. And it was the size of three school buses, from what I understand. And it was a lot to go. I guarantee you our military 
saw it as soon as it was, it was up in the air in China and watched it come across the Pacific, which is a very long, long, long way. They tracked it the whole way over and then it was spotted in Montana before finally exiting over North Carolina into the Atlantic and then it was shot down. And they said, oh, well, we didn't want to shoot it down and, you know, risk hurting somebody. Okay, well, you know, like, Montana is mostly just open wilderness. Nebraska and Iowa is mostly just farmland. You couldn't shot, you couldn't shot it down over either one of the, you know, any of those states where it's, like, mostly farmland, not to mention, you know, don't tell me you didn't track something that was the size of three school buses. Uh, you didn't track that over the Pacific. You couldn't have shot it down on the other side of our country before it started doing its mission. Oh, but we wanted to get intel over it, so you let it transmit all that data back to China, who was saying, oh, it's just a, it's just an off course weather balloon. China literally lies about everything they say. And if China, if China state media or the Chinese government is saying something, they're probably lying to us. I don't know how else to put that. I mean, do you put credibility in anything that they say? Because I don't. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm rambling and I have another drink to get to and I want to get out of my monkey suit here. God bless America. Like, subscribe, share. Find me on Twitter. Like me on uh, Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. The only way we're going to change things is if we get a new candidate, a new type of candidate, that regular guy, and that's me. God bless America, Marini 2024.